Hi, I'm Bruce Hennis from the People's Party for Democracy and Development. One of the most critical parts of the Central Bank Governor's Review of the Economy of Barbados for the first quarter of 2020 is that the economy has declined by 3% for the first three months of 2020. The reason for this, the tourism sector has fallen by just over 16% because of declines in both the long-stay arrivals that went down by about 18% and cruise passengers, which fell by about 12%. Of great importance, however, is that before there, were, there was any adverse impact from the COVID-19 virus, the island's economy was still performing poorly. 2018 ended with a decline of minus 0.4% and 2019 ended with a decline of minus 0.1%. Unfortunately, however, the first three months of 2020 have also now con continued in that same vein with another decline of 3%, an amount that makes the overall figures for both 2018 and 2019 pale in comparison. We are still relying heavily on tourism. No clear vision has emerged to shift us from that single primary engine. In fact, 70% of the tradable component of our economy, that's those industry sectors whose output in terms of goods and services are traded internationally, 70% of that tradable component is made up of tourism. 17% or close to one-fifth of the overall Barbadian economy depends strongly, depends strongly on tourism. Therefore, as we have just seen, any decline in tourism in the tourism sector will impact us all. But that's not all. The tourism follow will also and has also affected our very vital foreign exchange earnings in this season. During the first three months of 2020, earnings from travel were close to $800 million. Impressive, but this represented a fall of 11% from the same period in 2019, a decline, it fell by 11%. And the sad fact is that it will unfortunately get worse, significantly worse. Why specifically in the last two years, literally 50% or half of the foreign exchange earned by the island has come from tourism. During the months of April to September, in 2019, there were over about 312,000 long-stay arrivals to the island. But with the decline in tourism, it is highly unlikely that during the year 2020, this year, we will see that level of visits again. The economies of the island's two main source markets for tourists, both the United States and the United Kingdom, have also both been badly hit by the global pandemic. As of April 2020, the United States recorded an unemployment rate of about 14.4%. That was last month, just finished, of its labor force. And that figure represents about 23 million, over 23 million Americans being unemployed as of April 2020. That, um, that level of unemployment rate has not been seen since the period between August 1931 and June 1940. A horrible season caused by the Great Depression years of the 1930s. As for the United Kingdom, their central bank, called the Bank of England, has warned that their economy could fall by 14% this year, possibly making that its largest decline since 1706. As a result, United Kingdom unemployment could also rise to 9%, that figure being above the Great Recession of 2008, which just finished, the Great Financial Crisis. Our lack of diversification has seen Barbados being pummeled, punched. The severe global economic recession of the early 1980s when the United States unemployment reached as high as 11.4% and again the early 1990s recession when unemployment in the United States reached in a range of just over 8%, both figures much lower than what we're seeing right now as of April 2020. In both of those instances, in the early 1980s as well as in the early 1990s, Barbados was forced to seek assistance from the IMF. But this time, it is much, much, much worse.
we're going into a massive economic crisis while A, already being in the hands of the IMF and B, having experienced very poor levels of growth. To add fuel to the fire, the IMF program that we are currently in is the worst that we have ever been in in our entire history with the IMF. The money that we have signed up for in this IMF program is now well over five times the amount of money than that of the two previous programs combined. The duration of this program that we're currently in is longer than the two previous programs combined. The debt per person being carried by this IMF, i.e. the debt for every citizen of Barbados, known as the debt per capita, is now the highest in the world for all the 39 countries that are currently in IMF programs. In fact, with our recently updated program where we got an additional 90 million US dollars from the IMF, that now takes us having no forces every Barbadian to carry a debt of $2,600 per person in Barbados dollars. It is more than that of the next highest country, Argentina, which is carrying just about $2,500 billion per person. And that's very critical because Argentina is in itself in a very dire economic situation. So we have no surpassed them in the amount of debt per person. On top of all of this, our future tourism will be dependent upon two countries. The United States, which is experiencing the economic pain that they have not felt since the years of the Great Depression in the 1930s, and the United Kingdom, who have warned of a serious fall in their economy at a level not seen since 1706. That's the 18th century. The warning, therefore, to all Barbadians is biblical and twofold. Gird up your loins or tighten your belts, as in Exodus chapter 12, verse 11, because you have not passed this way before. That's in Joshua chapter 3, verse 4. We're entering into a season of untold calamity. As to how long that season will last, only God Almighty Himself knows.